everybody and welcome to this week's edition of the Daily News, brought to you by Insanitizer, now available in injection form and ingestible form. Dramatization. Do not consume, ingest, or inject any disinfectant products. In case of ingestion, consult a mortician and not your president. My name is Liam and this is the week's headlines. US President Trump has said, we're in excellent shape. While healthcare officials disagree, citing the current plague of coronavirus, obesity, and thousands of patients being admitted for injecting disinfectant. Hardware stores are seeing a drastic increase of duct tape bought as markers for social distancing. Reports of shovels, bleach, and bags of lime are also being bought for cleaning and gardening. A driver education program for older drivers has had funding cut off faster than an old driver cutting off peak hour traffic. A 35-year-old man has been jailed for breaching quarantine to visit his girlfriend. In his initial defense, he stated he was just going to eat out and get some exercise. A man has been accused of a murder for hire plot in which he allegedly wanted to skewer his nemesis and saute her on a barbecue in garlic butter. He's been dubbed the Tiger King Prawn. A coronavirus hoarder has failed to return $10,000 worth of toilet paper to an Adelaide supermarket. The store manager reportedly told the customer, you can shove that toilet paper up your ass, with the customer responding, yes, that's how toilet paper works. He was not issued a refund. And Victoria Beckham is taking Sydney-based skincare company VB to court over the use of initials. It truly has Victoria Bitter. In response to claims that Victoria is taking the piss, she has stated, You can't use it to advertise. You can't use it to plagiarize. You can't use it any old how. Matter of fact, there's some lawyers now. <clears throat> But thank you very much for joining us in this week's edition of The Daily News. My name is Liam, and I will see you guys next time.